I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. The House Judiciary Committee held a markup Thursday on gun control legislation. During the emergency meeting, Republican Congressman Jim Jordan and Thomas Massey slammed red flag laws. The Ohio lawmakers said, quote, red flag laws trample on an individual's due process and Second Amendment rights. Republicans have rebuffed calls from Democrats for stricter gun reform after recent mass shootings have reignited the national gun control debate. Here's more from the emergency markup. Purposes, Mr. Jordan, see recognized. Strike the last word. Gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The language in the gentleman's amendment is so accurate. Red flag laws trample on an individual's due process and Second Amendment rights. That is exactly what these laws do. All you got to do is look at the bill the Democrats passed last October. Last October, it defined who, who can file the petition to take away another individual's Second Amendment liberty. It says a family or household member. How is that defined? Parent, spouse, sibling, child, related by blood, marriage, adoption. Second one, dating partner of the respondent. Think about that. Dating partner of the respondent. A woman breaks up, ends a relationship. Ex-boyfriend's mad about it. He says, I'll get her, I'll get her, I'll take her firearms from her. He goes to court, says she's crazy, shouldn't have a gun. There's a hearing within 24 hours. What kind of investigation can happen that quick? 24-hour hearing, he gets to remain confidential, the guy who's petitioning to take away someone else's Second Amendment liberty. He doesn't have to pay a fee, he just signs something, says she's crazy, she's, she shouldn't have a firearm. There's a hearing within 24 hours, and guess what? She doesn't get to show up. She doesn't, it's an ex parte hearing. She doesn't even get to show up to defend herself. And what's the evidence? His word. The ex-boyfriend is out to get her. And she can't have a firearm for two weeks under the Democrats' bill they passed last October. She can't have a firearm. Now, what, what if the scenario is even worse? What if it's a scenario we debated a few hours ago that Mr. Massey brought up? What if he's intent on doing her harm and he just knows he took away her, her ability to defend herself? That's what this bill would do. No due process. And for her to get it back, she has to go to court. And this, the, the standard, the evidence standard is lower, clear and convincing standard that she has to prove to get back her fundamental liberty, the Second Amendment right that she's in, she enjoys as an American citizen. That's why these things are so dangerous. You talk about, they're going to, Mr. Gates from Florida is so right. They, this is going to be abused. Probably already is in the states that have done it. We all want to keep weapons out of bad guys, hands, evil, people with mental illness. But Mr., as Mr. Massey's pointed out, that's not what this is going to do. We, we know where this is headed. And Mr. Bishop brought up a great point. The, 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 we've got to be careful about the awesome power of government to go after, to go after people. We've talked about this a lot in this committee, but we, we, had a, we had an FBI whistleblower come forward, talk to us about what happened in this whole school board scenario where they investigated a mom simply because she was in the group Moms for Liberty and had a gun. The FBI went and investigated her. This is a scary direction where the Democrats want to go. I, I, I hope we can adopt this amendment, send a message, send a message, frankly, to the United States Senate that this is not the way to go. You don't want a law, encouraging a law out there that's gonna deprive people of due process and take away their Second Amendment liberties and then put the burden on them to go get back their rights. We don't wanna go this direction. This is a good amendment. I hope we can adopt it. We yield to the gentleman from Kentucky. Citizens don't want a world where police make unannounced pre-dawn raids and people lose their fundamental right to self-defense without a real judicial hear hearing. But guess who else doesn't want that world? Police don't want that world. There are sheriffs already who are refusing to implement these red flag laws because they put unnecessarily, just so somebody can prove a point, so somebody can get back at a domestic partner, they, they put police in the dangerous and unenviable situation where they have to wake up somebody in the morning unannounced that they know is armed, who has no idea why somebody's coming through their door, why somebody's busting that door down. Why somebody is, is, is dragging them out and getting and, and trying to take away their firearms. It, the results are predictable and, and they have happened. You're going to have people who die in the execution of these so-called warrants, the type of warrants that frankly would make King George blush. 
I think there was more due process there in the colonies when he infringed on their rights than what, what is being proposed here in red flag laws. And I urge, you know, a lot of the water's already gone over the dam here in Congress. And that's gonna be the case in, until this November when the people get a chance to speak. But in the meantime, it's up to the Senate. And these senators, they're, they're out of touch. A lot of them are out of touch. Out of touch with their constituents, but also out of touch with the Constitution. I yield back to the gentleman from Ohio. Red flag laws trample on an individual's due process and Second Amendment rights. So true. I yield back. Gentleman's time has expired. Uh, for what purpose does the gentlelady from Texas seek recognition?